and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you've joined me for today. We are going thrifting. It's been snowing all week, even though it is officially spring. So we just need to get out of the house today. We just had coffee with a friend and I've got my little buddy back there with me. Hi. We're gonna hit up a couple of thrift stores. I did go yesterday thrifting and found some real gems. I have a list of things that I've been looking for. I have been on the lookout for some things for spring and just to spruce up some corners of our home. I just wanna change up a little bit, but do so on a budget. So today I would love to find like a peg wall hook sort of thing. Always looking for candlesticks or like pottery pieces to put flowers in. Just unique vintage inspired things. I don't really know know how I would describe my style. I think it's like vintage, farmhouse, cottage core. I don't know. I feel like it's always changing. But those are kind of the vibes that I'm feeling for the thrift stores, for things I'm looking for. Let's get started. Over the past few years, I have truly found a love of thrifting. One of my favorite things to look for are mugs, dishes. I especially look for anything with a blue stripe like this on it. This mug was really cute and it ended up coming home with me. I love looking for more vintage inspired mugs, anything that just looks a little bit more unique. Today at the thrift store, they had so many cute creamers, little pottery pieces. I had so much fun looking through all these different ones. I really liked this one with the blue stripe. I didn't end up getting it, but I kind of wish I had. It was really cute. I don't usually have too much luck when I'm looking at clothing at thrift stores. There were one or two pieces that I considered taking home. I didn't end up, but I thought that these sweaters were really cute as well as this linen top. I always do make an effort to look through the clothing. I just don't usually find anything that I love enough to buy. This glass canister I thought was really sweet. I thought it would be cute to put little candies in, display on a shelf. I didn't end up getting it, but I had so much fun looking through all the different glassware. I was on the hunt for some glass mugs, and I'm always just looking for jars, canisters. I can save so much money that way. Hey y'all, this is Editing Laura here. If you look carefully, you'll see that I do in fact only have one of my hands painted. Thank you for noticing. If that's not mom life for you, I don't know what is, but I hope it's not bothering you as much as it's bothering me watching this footage. I did in fact paint my other hand just yesterday, so I'm all good now. There were so many cute little creamers. This one was sweet. I thought it would be cute hung up on some sort of peg hook. And looking through all these different pieces, I was reminded of just how much money I can save by thrifting little things like this. I thought these little geese were so sweet. This was a mug that I found at this thrift store as well as at the previous one and I thought this scene was so cute but it had kind of a stain on it so I didn't end up taking it. It's always a treasure hunt when I go thrifting. I really enjoy looking through all the different pieces, seeing if there are any treasures to be found. I'm just looking for things that spark joy. And in this collection, I was trying to find some coffee mugs. 
that were glass or coffee cups. I've been wanting one for my iced coffees, but I didn't really find any that were interesting. This other mug was so cute, these little geese. There was like a whole collection of geese things at this thrift store. So many cute things. I wonder if someone just donated their whole collection. I thought these were really cute, especially for the springtime. I didn't take any with me, but I had fun looking through. I don't always find something in the furniture section, but I always make sure to look through because you never know what you're going to find. I thought that this uh, wooden truck was really cute. I didn't end up getting it because there was some wear and tear in it, but I did find some other wooden pieces that I'm excited to share later in this video. the next day and I have some time to sit down with you guys and show you everything that I got. I scored some really fun pieces. I'm excited to show you guys. First up, I grabbed a few little wooden things starting with this cookbook stand that I've actually already been using in my kitchen. I do like the dark wood. I think it's really pretty. I don't know where it's from. There's no label or anything on it, but I also like the gold hinges and it works really well. It's something that I can kind of just tuck towards the back of my counter, pull out when I need it. It's actually been really, really handy already. This is a piece I'm especially excited about. This is a little miniature spice rack. This was $3.49, <laughs> which was a steal. I didn't even think about it. I just grabbed it. I think I'm actually going to sand it down. If I look on the bottom, I can see underneath that the wood is actually a lot lighter. It's a little dirty, but I figured if I can sand it down to this color, put some sort of seal on it that just protects it. I think that would be, I think that would be really pretty. There was also another wooden piece that I found, which I am most excited for. I'm gonna share that a little bit later in this video, so stick around. This little mug, I thought this was so cute. It was a dollar. Anything with a blue stripe catches my eye, and I thought this was really cute. I've been looking at, like on Pinterest and things, and I love these little vintage jars. They kind of look like, like moonshine jars, I don't know if they are. I just think the shape is really unique and fun to put little flowers in for springtime. So I saw this, I gasped when I saw it and I like hurried over to grab it. It was a couple bucks. Um, but then when I got there, I realized it does have this design on the front. I just don't love it, but maybe it could be kind of cute now that I'm looking at it more closely. I don't know, I'm not really sold on this design on the front, but I thought I can just place it on a shelf or on the top of a cupboard or something backwards and you won't even be able to see the picture. Oh, there was another wooden piece that I forgot. This was actually something that I grabbed on Facebook Marketplace and something that I've been kind of on the hunt for for a while. There's a few different places in our home that I think a peg shelf like this or a peg hook would be really, really cute. One is in our bedroom, but then I also thought how cute would this be to put at our coffee bar? and hang mugs on. So that's an idea. There's even a few other places like in the nursery I could put it, hang different things on by the front door. I feel like these are really versatile. You can use in a lot of different places. I have been on the hunt for some white dishes to thrift and I found these ones. These were actually from a few months ago maybe when I went for a thrift shop. I was just dropping off some donations and thought I would pop in for like a couple minutes and I found these and I actually love the look of like mismatched dinner plates and bowls. So my thinking is and has been that I would just keep my eye out for some white cream dishes and kind of build a collection. It might be a little bit more eclectic, a little bit more mismatched, but I think there's something kind of cute about that. Sierra, I'm not sure how you say that, but it says that they're porcelain and they're microwave and dishwasher safe. Like they seem like pretty good quality and they were in really good condition. And I got eight for $8, I believe, which is pretty good deal for dishes. This was a plate that I picked up at Goodwill yesterday and it has that really cute blue stripe around it. It's kind of like a stone texture almost. It has like a faint speckled pattern and it was actually a set with some teacups. So there was another one. I only got one and I just thought 
it would be sweet to put a candle on. I love the look of having like a mason jar type candle on a dish and then placing it somewhere in my home. I could even put like maybe even like a potted plant. I don't know if that's cute. I don't know. I feel like it could be cute. There's different things that you can use them for as well as even displaying on a little shelf or something as an accent. Okay, these plates I was very thrilled to find. They were... I believe they were like a dollar each. Really inexpensive. And I just love this little scene that is on them. Just looks like a vintage-y sort of scene with the horse-drawn carriage, the little log house, and the river. And I was just looking at this and just noticing all the little details like the swans and the little creek there and the flowers. Of course, I love the blue and white. And I love that it looks like an illustration. It looks like a almost like a pointillism sketch. The quality is a little bit off, like it does look pretty old. It's kind of like chipping in the back and just has a little bit of wear and tear, but I don't mind because from a distance you don't notice it. And I think these would look really pretty displayed on a shelf. I'm thinking maybe I'll put this on the coffee bar for like springtime decoration. Again, this one would look pretty under a candle, like how I was explaining with the other dish or added to a little shelf. Again, I just think it's pretty and can be incorporated in a lot of different ways, I think. Like I said, I always check the basket section and I found this really large laundry basket, which is perfect because our laundry basket that we kept our towels in broke. It was just like a plastic one from Walmart. And so I needed a replacement anyways. And then I saw this really large basket and I thought, oh, that would be a perfect basket for our towels. This piece I found from the pottery section. It caught my eye because of the little scene that's on it, this little farm animals. Looking on the bottom, it said that it is handcrafted in Canada. So that caught my eye as well as on the front label, it says Toronto. So I looked it up while I was in the thrift store because I was just curious and I found some on Etsy that were being sold for like 40 bucks. Here's one that's on Etsy that I found that's the exact one that I have. They're selling it for like $50. Anyways, that's interesting to me. You just never know what you're gonna find thrifting. I bought this for less than $2. So maybe I'll even try and resell it and make some money. We'll see. It's not really my favorite piece. I did snag it because I was like, huh, this is just interesting to me. But I think it would look cute on like a bookshelf or in a study, something like that. Another thing I have been on the hunt for is a white vintage pitcher. And I found one on Facebook that I was considering purchasing, but it was just a little bit too much money that I just didn't really think that it was worth it, but it was really cute and vintage. So I saw this one at the thrift store. It's not like a vintage or antique piece actually, but I wanted to get it right away because it's exactly the shape and style that I've been looking for to put some flowers, some dried florals in for springtime. And it was only like $2. Once I got home, I realized it's actually the Ray Dunn artisan line, which just isn't really my style, but it says pour on the front. But again, I think I can just face it backwards so that it's just blank white. And I think this would be really pretty. I was also trying to think of an idea of some way I could like cover this up. So I thought maybe like painting over it. I feel like that's a little bit risky. Of course, I could just paint the entire vase and do kind of like a baking soda faux clay look. But I really do like the texture of this piece, so we don't really want to change it. I don't know, maybe you have some ideas for me. One of my favorite things to get thrifting are children's books. And I love the idea of incorporating seasonal books, seasonal picture books. And I really didn't have many for springtime. So I've been keeping an eye out and slowly building our spring picture book collection. These are all books that I found thrifting and I never heard of these ones before, but they're so cute. I looked it up online. It looks like they have one for each of the seasons. So I found the spring one. So it has like some information sharing things that are around in spring, like new leaves, gardens, has a little section on spring animals and goslings, just really cute information. And then crafts. Ooh, I love this. This is an easy green smoothie recipe. Knowing myself, I would have loved a book like this as a child. I also got this spring one called Busy Spring. So it looks like a family just discovering and learning ways that the earth changes in springtime, how different things will spring up out of the ground, 
all about plants, just lots of information and really pretty illustrations. So that one caught my eye. I also got this one, which will be for fall, apples and pumpkins. It's funny because I was actually gonna get this on Amazon in the fall time and then I didn't. And so I found it thrifting, which is great. I also got, we're going on a bear hunt. This one is a really cute story. I really love the illustrations in this book. Illustrations for me just have a way of just capturing my attention and really drawing me in. It's one of the first things I look at when I'm looking at picture books is the illustrations. And these ones are really pretty. There's some sketches as well as some watercolor pictures. And then the other book that I got is this one by Mem Fox. This is a pretty well-known book, Time for Bed. It's really sweet and it's kind of like different sets of animals, the parent animal putting the baby animal to bed and it rhymes. It's just a really sweet bedtime read, very calming. So those are the ones that I got. They're not really ones that will read quite yet. So I'll kind of put them away and save for when Danny is older, but I really enjoy collecting children's books even if we're not using them at the moment, to keep for later and just continue building our library. And thrifting is a great way to do just that on a budget. Okay, I believe that's everything over here that I have to show you, but like I said, I saved, in my opinion, the best for last. So I'm gonna take you over here, show you guys what I found. It's funny, because one of the other customers at the thrift store when I was checking out asked, she looked at me carrying this thing. I was like, what is that? <laughs> you might be wondering the same thing, but it is a shelf. I snagged this for $9 and it's very large as you can see, but it's funny because I saw this and I didn't even really notice it. And then I passed through the thrift store again and I took a second look and actually went back for it and grabbed it. What I love about this piece is that the wood is not sealed so i think i could just paint directly on this piece and i think having a large shelf like this will be really fun to put in our bedroom possibly or even downstairs i don't know there's a couple different places where i could put it and i like the idea of just having a shelf it's very fun to style and i think this piece is really unique there are some screw holes that I'll need to fill in, so it will need some DIY, some extra attention. But I think what I'm gonna try and do is sand it down to the original wood and get it kind of that natural color. And then I might just leave it or I might paint it. I don't know, I have lots of ideas, but whatever I decide to do, I'm excited to incorporate this into our home. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed putting it together and sharing what I have found thrifting with you guys. If you like this type of video, a thrift with me, thrift haul, let me know in the comments. I would love to film more if that's something you enjoy and find interesting. I am planning a video sharing how I incorporate these things in our home and use these pieces as well as other pieces that I've thrifted in our home decorating, things like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video as well as other videos that I post here every week. Until next time, thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.